Hello everyone, uh, this video is about the process trainer intro lab. Right, right now you see in the, uh, uh, the panel, control panel, underneath is the PLC, right? So you can see the modular PLC uh, on different uh, slots, right? So uh, some of them uh, are the input for the uh, analog sensors and uh, some of them uh, connect to the analog output, right? So that's uh, focus on the HMI first. So uh, for this lab, you don't need to print out uh, the paper handout, right? So you can just follow the instructions on the HMI. First, I need to need you to sign in, all right? When you press the button, you can type in your name. I'll just use my initial initials, uh, type in there and uh, press enter. So you can see uh, your name show up on there. You can have up to two students, two, two people work together at, uh, uh, as a group, all right? So, uh, over here, this instruction on the panel, pull up both e-stop buttons and ensure the indicator on, power on. So if you go to the front panel here, there are both e-stop buttons being uh, pulled, right? So it's it's already on, on the indicator, so we are good to go, right? So then let's go into the next step on the HMI. So on this screen, uh, uh, we're seeing the pneumatic system. Uh, the, uh, on the trainer, we have a, a few uh, devices connected uh, together, right? So first on the top, you can see that's the uh, diagram show you the, uh, the pneumatic system, all right? But uh, there's an error on this uh, diagram. I haven't changed it on yet. Uh, the direction of the error is supposed to be opposite direction, right? So uh, first, number one is the blower. So the blower will blow the air out, right? So that's why the direction is wrong. So the air actually will flow this way, go through the blower. And number two, uh, it uh, shows a uh, flow sensor, right? So if you look at on the real pictures on, on the bottom here, uh, it, later I'll show you the real device, all right? So this is the blower. You can see the motor on here. And also this is the flow sensor, the orange color on here on top. So actually it's indicating on here, all right? So, uh, the picture shows the pipe goes through here, right? Uh, in between, there's a key connection. So that's the control valve. Uh, you can control this valve on different opening. So currently it's 100%. And that elect, uh, the black component here connect to the valve, right? So that's an electrical uh, device. Uh, so you can look at the dial on the front to see the percentage, the position, all right? So I'll, I'll show you uh, in a moment. Right, then the, the pipe will go through the heater. So that's, uh, look at here, right? So we talk about here, that's the flow sensor. Then number three is the positional valve, right? So that's this part, open, close with percentage. And then in, inside the pipe, there's a heater, number four. Number five, there's a temperature sensor, right? So the air will be sucking through here, being heated up and controlled by the valve opening go through the flow sensor and blow out from here, right? So that's the system uh, with the devices. I will actually look, look at on the back, all right? So we have to look at it, uh, the, the readings later on. So from the back, you can see this is the uh, blower and then uh, the air will blow out from here, right? So uh, the air goes through here, uh, this pipe and that's the flow sensor. Uh, later on, we need to read the reading from the sensor on here. And then the pipe goes through here, positional valve on here, control the opening on this part of the pipe, and then the black electrical positioner. So this indicates the position, right? So right now this is 100% open. Later on, we can change it. As we change it, you will see that uh, indicator, this dial change to different locations, right? So, Continue on the pipe, go through here, and the heater is inside, and come out on here, and blow out from, uh, suck in from here, sorry, I keep uh, forgetting the uh, direction. But over here, uh, there, there's a connection with the temperature sensor, right? So uh, you we also have electrical connections on the back, on here, you can see here. So PLC can read the temperature, right? So this is the pneumatic system. Let's go on the front panel. So 
Number two, on the HMI enter the desired power for the uh, blower check the flow sensor reading as a result. So right now the blower is working on 0%. So we can uh, get the reading. Uh, maybe first I should let you to, I don't know if you notice the flow sensor reading right now is zero, right? So uh, I'll change it to 100%. I'll change it to 100% on the blower, right? So enter, you hear the noise, right? So right now the blower is working on 100%. So then let's look at the flow sensor uh, on the back, right? So uh, we can read on, on the ground, so we have to go back. So before that was zero, right? Right now we are reading uh, 89.2, right? So that's, that's the reading from the flow sensor, right? So if you change the percentage on the blower, for example, change to 50%, right? So then let's look at the, on the back on the flow sensor. It's supposed to be a lower reading. Yeah, roughly half, right? So you can see 42.5, uh, seven, right? So that's the flow sensor reading. And the other control component is the control valve, right? So this control valve is activated by the, this, right? So you already look at that. So uh, if I want to change the opening, right? Change it to 50%. Let's see what happens. You can, you can hear the uh, compressed air, right? It's working. Then I notice here the dial, right? So right now it's on the uh, like a, uh, 25 degrees, something uh, like, like that, right? So before it was vertical, right? So that indicates uh, from outside. Uh, you can see the, the control position change, all right? So uh, most of the time, maybe we, we can just uh, make it open to 100%, percent right? i leave to 100% on that. So control wall is totally open. So let's look at the uh, next, all right? So yeah, before I should let you look at the control wall, uh, uh, should also control the flow, right? Let, let's look at it, 50%. If we look at that, before it was 42 or something, right? So right now, you, you're reading 8.2, right? It's because it's shut down to 50% opening, right? So that's why this uh, has the uh, effect on the flow sensor, right? So, okay. So this is the part of the observation. So if you go to next. So, uh, what we're gonna do from here is to, to calibrate the flow sensor, right? The flow sensor has the analog input to the PLC. So you can see right now, uh, the PLC reading is uh, 41 something, right? So uh, this reading need to be calibrated because it's not uh, uh, exactly match up the, uh, the real reading, right? So how do we do the calibration? This is the process, right? Press the button under the uh, sensor reading to see the five targets. We need to uh, set up the flow sensor on five targets. So right now it's 7.5. If I press this, and uh, then you will see the next target should be 26.1, right? So you can see the indicator on the second one, right? Whenever we get the sensor reading on a target, PLC will have a analog input. So if we use this formula to calculate, so we can get a uh, factor coefficient, right? So we need to get five of them, then we need to calculate the average. So that's the whole process we need to do, right? So if you keep pressing this button, you will see this indicator go to the next one. So that's the five targets we need to calibrate, right? Of course, you need to make the real change on the device in order to get the accurate reading. So let's do it on the first one. Uh, we need to use the previous uh, screen to change the blower or the valve, right? So then check the PLC, press button. I'm gonna show you the whole process. So right now we're trying to get a 7.5 uh, reading on the flow sensor. Let's look at what's, what we have right now. Uh, it's 42 point something, it's too high, right? So because blower is working on 100%, right? So we need to go to previous, so 
uh, 50 percent right so we can change to maybe 15 percent on the blower right so the target you can see here we are trying to get 7.5 and then if we look at on the back uh, it's zero right so it's it's too low so we need to increase on that So 25% on the blower. And uh, it's reading on there. Uh, I'm reading the flow sensor, 12 point something, all right? We need to get 7.5. So either reduce the blower percentage a little bit fuller, maybe 20%. Let's see if we can get move on there. Right now I'm reading 7.7. .7. You can see on the orange, right, 7.5. That's good. That's really good. So then uh, we need to go to the next screen. So because we reached the target, right, so you can see sensor reading 7.5. On the PLC, very close, right, not exactly. That's why we need to calibrate. So if we press this button, this first factor will be calibrated, right? Calibrate, then you can see it's 1.013, uh, right? So that's what the uh, we got the first result so then we need to press this button to to see the next target next target we need to get 26.1 right so you can see here right now it's on here so we need to go back to the previous and to change the blower you can also change the control wall right i, I just focus on the blower percentage so that right now i need to increase probably i need a uh I don't know, it's just a try and error, right? 27%, let's see if we can get 26.1, all right? So look at here, on the, it's 15, it's increasing, but not 26. So now we need to increase uh, maybe to 33, 30, 33. Let's try again uh, if we can get 26.1. If you have a two person work as a group, all right, so you can save that walk through. Right now, I'm reading 24 point something, all right? So getting close, we just need to keep increasing the uh, the blower to 35 maybe, all right? So once we get 35, to see if we can get 26.1, all right? And on the back, yeah, 26 something, right? I'll just use that. I don't want to make this video too long, right? So then let's look at the next screen. So you can see target 26.1. This one is 26 points uh, something in the input. So we need to press the calculate to get the second factor calculated, all right? So uh, you can see that's different from the previous one, right? So, uh, we need to repeat this for the other three. So follow on here, right? So uh, after five results, you need to get the uh, average, all right? So I think you got the idea of how do we do with this part. Uh, I'll stop this video, all right? I don't want to make it too long. In the next video, I'll talk about the hydraulic system.